Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn about space complexity. So space complexity is order of growth of memory size or RAM space amount taken in terms of input size. So as you can see it is very similar to time complexity which is as we know order of growth of time taken in terms of input size. But here instead of time taken it memory taken or RAM amount taken. All right. Now let's see few examples to understand better about space complexity. All right. So let's see this uh, function first. So in this function we are returning sum of first and natural numbers and here we are using the direct formula. All right and I get and I'm assuming you must be knowing about this formula. All right. Okay. So can I tell me the number of variables here? The number of variable is only one n right and we can see that space complexity is you know order of growth in terms of input size all right so suppose if n is 100 then the number of variables would be would be still one right and suppose n is 1000 the number of variables would still be one so number of variables is not depending on input size so we can say that space taken by this uh, function is constant. So we can write space complexity as theta 1, right? Okay, let me tell you that as long as number of variables are constant, okay, meaning it's not array or list of variables, then the space complexity would remain constant. Hence, you can see that space complexity here is theta of 1 or constant space taken. Alright. Now, let's come to this example, this function. So, what this function is doing, it is also computing sum of first and natural numbers. But here we are adding numbers one by one in this function. Alright. As you can see in this function, as this loop. Alright. Now, uh, count the number of variables here first. Alright. It is, you know, n first variable, sum second variable, and i third variable. Now, if I ask, if we change n, suppose let's take n 3, then the number of variables would be 3. If n is, suppose 100, the number of variables would still be 3, n sum i. If n is 10,000, then the number of variables would still be 3. So, we can see that number of variables it's not depending on input size. So we can say that the size taken by this function is constant. So you can say space complexity of this function is theta 1 or constant space. All right. As I told you before that, if the number of variables are constant, ir irrespective of changing our input size, the space complexity would be constant. All right. Now let's come to this example. All right, this is a very important example. So here, what we are doing, we are uh, having a function which takes uh, parameters as array, an array, and its size, array size. All right, and then we uh, find the sum of all the elements of array through this loop, and then we return the sum. All right, simple function. Now, tell me the number of variables here. So, uh, one variable n, one variable sum, and one variable i. All right, three variables and, and one more important thing, number of elements present in this container, which is our array container. Right, this will also contain elements, so this will also like contain variables, which will have elements of this container all right now suppose n is 100 then how many variables would be there one variable second variable third variable plus 100 more variables the elements of our uh, array right if n is 1000 then elements would be what 1 2 3 plus 1000 elements because n is you know input size of array so array would contain 1000 elements so we can see that number of elements here 
is direct are directly proportional to input size which is our n so you can say that sp uh, space complexity here is theta n right so this is how we calculate space complexity i hope this gets clear to you all right now let's talk about one more important term called auxiliary space auxiliary space is order of growth of extra space or temporary space in terms of input size all right by extra space i mean the space created in memory other than input or output all right so let's see this example so here uh, this is the uh, same function as uh, we uh, saw before it is you know uh, having parameter as array and size of it and we are uh, computing the sum of all the elements of array and returning the sum all right so we did see that space complexity here is what theta of n all right now if i ask you what would be the auxiliary space here so what did we say about auxiliary space that it is extra space created which is uh, not related to input or output all right so as you can see in this function it only takes array this array as input and no extra array is used for computation the only auxiliary space here is the declaration or space taken by these variables sum and i all right and if we change the size or if we change the input size which uh, i mean n then still the number of variables would remain constant hence auxiliary space would still be constant which is theta of 1 right so i hope this is clear to you that what is auxiliary space right now if i ask you like if we have to compare two functions to find the efficiency then what would be the deciding criteria so a direct answer it would be auxiliary space all right now uh, you might be wondering why all right now let me tell you about it suppose if you talk about array problems list problems or any problems which use input containers then they are going to use theta n space for input right for passing array into their uh, parameter like in this function right so space complexity would be theta n so if suppose if i use an extra array here of suppose a right of size n okay so the time complexity or the space complexity would still remain you know theta n right okay let me tell you um what would be the space taken by this one it would something be c1n right what would be the space taken by this one if there was this function c2n and then there are some uh, variables which would take time something c3 so it would be the total space taken c1n plus c2n plus c3 right so we can you know plug c1 and c2 and we can say something c4 so it would be you know c4n right plus c3 yes and if we find the order of growth what would it be we'll ignore the lower order terms and we'll ignore the coefficient of feeding term so it would be n right so this is what i was talking about if we add this we will still have the space complexity of theta of n but what would change here this 
auxiliary space right auxiliary space would change here it will then become theta of n right so this is what i was talking about we are you know more concerned about auxiliary space or extra space taken by the function all right okay let me tell, tell you about something uh, something about sorting algorithms which will come later in the series suppose if you talk about sorting algorithms such as you know bubble sort quick sort insertion sort etc what they do they don't take any extra array to sort the to sort all right so their auxiliary space would be theta of 1 right but there are some uh, sorting algorithms such as merge sort which requires an extra array to compute the sorting all right so its auxiliary space becomes theta of n now in all these sorting algorithms we have to pass input array into the functions right whether it be bubble sort quick sort or merge sort so in every case the space complexity would be theta of n all right so what would be the you know the deciding criteria what would be the deciding criteria then it would clearly be auxiliary space because in sort sorting algorithms such as bubble sort quick sort we have you know space complexity as theta n but we have auxiliary space as theta of 1 and in sorting algorithms such as merge sort we have space complexity as theta of n but we also have auxiliary space as theta n so we have to find the efficiency since the space complexity is same we'll switch uh, go to auxiliary space so this is how we compare the efficiency of programs in terms of uh, size they take all right so this was all about the space complexity and auxiliary space and this is the last video of asymptotic analysis and from the next video we'll start a new topic and uh, i'll end this lecture today